Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be talking about The Eye of Minds by James Dashner. I will be talking about some of the characters and the plot. The book follows a man named Michael. He is a teenager that spends most of his time in the Vertnet with his friends Bryson and Sarah. The Vertnet is a hub of basically everything and anything that is in the Vertnet. Uh, which are games, arcade games, um, tons of different experiences that you can do. And Michael and his friends know how to code pretty well. And one day when Michael is in the real world walking to school, he passes through an alleyway and he gets kidnapped by unknown people. Turns out these people are part of the VNS, which is, stands for the Vertnet Security. And they want him and his friends to track down a cyber terrorist named Kane. And he is the main antagonist for the book. Throughout the book, Michael and his friends Bryson and Sarah embark on a long journey throughout the Vertnet to try and find Kane's hideout inside of the Vertnet. And then the VNS tasked him, them with finding his hideout, and then they would... Uh, proceed to infiltrate it with their agents inside of the Vertnet and take Kane out because they believe he is just another gamer like Bry or Bryce and Michael and Sarah. So, throughout the book, Michael and his friends are trying to find Kane and find out that there is a thing called the Path, which should take them to the Hollowed w Ravine, which is where uh, Kane is supposedly hiding. Along the way, Michael and his friends encounter kill sims, which are Kane's creations designed to prevent anyone from trying to reach the path to uh, find out where the hollowed ravine is inside of the Burtnet. Now, that's all I'm going to talk about for the plot of the book, because anymore there will be pretty big spoilers. So now I will be talking about why I like the book. And I really enjoyed the book because it takes place in the future, and I like sci-fi books like that. I really think it's neat how the story takes place in the Vertnet mostly, and somewhat in the real world. And I enjoyed the characters, and it's the first book in a series, so I will definitely be checking the other books out. So overall, I'm going to have to give this book a solid 9.5 out of 10. Why not 10 out of 10? I don't know, because I feel like it. So anyways, that's all the time in this video. I will see you in the next one.